Hello guys and girls. Hope things are good for you today. Hopefully they're better for you than for me today. I'm working with this Santa Fe. And it's a sport, but the only thing sport about is the insurance is all I can figure. Because, you know, it's a, it's a soccer mom vehicle for crying out loud. It's not much of a sports car, but my problem is, is... We had an issue, we had, it went in limp mode and everything through check engine light and all that. Gave us a code of P0326 and come to find out it was a code, a knock sensor code, yeah. And I was hoping it was just the sensor, replace the sensor, then no, it was the engine. The engine started to seize, the crank was seizing and Hyundai because it was still under warranty actually replaced our engine and put us a new engine in and this was just a few hundred miles ago and then today the wife gets to work she messages me she says dear my car's throwing the same code again check engine light come on so she hooked the little computer to it and well it I have the key, I would see how many miles is on it to this point, but I didn't bring the key out with me. But we reset the tack whenever we got the new engine put in. <clears throat> and I know we haven't put anywhere near a thousand miles on it since then. And we're already having this issue again. And it's this engine, the 2.4, I think it is, GDI. And man, it's been one headache after the other and the knock sensor is behind the manifold and everything up behind the fuel rail and you gotta take off the everything basically. You take the top piece off, the manifold off, the fuel rail you gotta loosen, you gotta take the throttle body off over here. It's unreal. But anyway, I don't understand why we're already having an issue with it again, but we're going <clears> to <throat> just reset the code. Thankfully, she works really, really close to home. And so we're going to hope that it was just a glitch in the system, in the computer system. Something was just had a quirk in it. That, that's what we're hoping and praying for right now. Hopefully, we're blessed enough that it was just a glitch in the system. But last time it wasn't, it needed an engine. So as you can see, that engine that's in, it's pretty new if you could see it just now. Um, but, oh man, one headache after the other. We're more than six grand in this thing. Ain't had it very long at all. And well, here we are again with this bunch of chaotic crap. So yeah, I'm going to, I'd already reset the code and everything when she pulled in at home here a minute ago and I'm gonna play it by ear and if it throws the code again we have to take it in to be serviced with the new engine they gave us you know like so much servicing and things oil changes and stuff for I guess so many miles months whatever however they worked it out but we're gonna take it in Saturday it's scheduled for a um, oil change so I'm gonna go into the dealership then and speak with them about it and let them know it's throwed that code again and hopefully maybe they can do something about it then and give it a diagnostics test or something because i don't have any computer to do something that great with i have the little handheld job that's you know pretty much you get what you pay for you can't really get a very good diagnosis with it so <sighs> i hope they'll figure something out with me and I'm not stuck again for a month without a ride because you know you're six thousand dollars over six thousand dollars into a ride you ought not have to be walking for a month or bombing rides off people that's ridiculous but anyway I will keep you guys posted and gals and let you know <clears throat> what comes of it and I just wanted to let people know because I don't want you to go out spend your hard-earned money on something that's going to leave you stranded Last time I was stranded for a month with no ride, so yeah, I'm I'm hoping that that's not the case this time, but I will keep you guys and gals posted, 
And so maybe that way you won't go spend your hard-earned money on a car that's going to continue to let you down over and over again. So yeah, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment if you got any ideas, suggestions, anything I should do proceeding here. And as always, have a good one.